Gentlemen, hello, welcome. Um, you may be wondering, what's going on here? I had a little bit of battle damage. I have damaged myself. It's not too great. But you know what happened? I fell over. <laughs> Actually, pretty painful. But I'm fine now. Okay, I'm all good. Yeah, if you if, if you were wondering, I'm all good. Yeah, anyway, today's video that might make you feel a little bit sick. If you're squeamish or just genuinely you don't have, you know, mental illness. But yeah, I'm just warning you now. If you don't want to go down this fucking feces-filled rabbit hole, just just turn around now while, while you still have your sanity intact, okay? Because genuinely, when I heard about this shit, I just wanted to give up on life and just thought, you know what? Fuck it. If shit like this is happening, it's gonna just leave the planet. Because clearly, God has left us. What? Just straight up just left the server and dipped for some milk and, you know, just took a while. Oh, well, this is your final warning. I hope you've contemplated your decision. Because if you're deciding to stay, boy, let me just tell you, I really can't help you if you're going to need therapy after this, all right? Hey, here we go. Final warning. Let me explain what's going on here, all right? Today we're talking about King Menace to society, Chris Chan. Now, when I say menace to society, I don't only mean it. This guy is the embodiment of what that statement means. Now, Chris Chan has recently been arrested. Positive news, but once you need to get deeper into the story, realize why you, you just want to fucking die. It's genuinely the only thing you want to do. You just want to die. So Chris Chan was, uh, was arrested for, for incest, for having sex with his own mother. <laughs> If that sounds fucked up, gets even more fucked up. Now his mother is around 80 years old. She suffers heavily from dementia. I mean, she can't properly consent to, you know, the crime of incest. Now Chris Chan decides to fucking sexually assault his mother. And she's incapable of even consenting in the first place. She's also 80 years old and on the verge of death. No, this whole thing is so fucked up. The state that arrested Chris Chan didn't even know what to punish him with. Because this type of incest wasn't even considered a crime. Because obviously, it's so fucked up that no one would ever go near even thinking about it, alright? Imagine committing a crime basically was so fucked up no one even thought that it could be done. And this man goes and fucking does it. That's how fucked this whole thing is. Basically invented a new crime. Like, how the actual fuck did we survive this long as a race and that when, when the human mind is capable of committing acts such as this? Like, this man went through some clearly really fucked up anime villain arc get to this point. Like, how do you actually get this low as a human being? Like, how is that genuinely possible? That I don't understand. Drives a man to commit such as this. It really disgusts me as well. Like, everybody I've spoken to about this has genuinely gone, yeah, I, I, I feel sick thinking about this. Only in America, the land of the free, would something so fucked up take place. I think the worst thing about this whole case, a few of the media stories on this whole thing, for some reason, aren't mad over the fact that Chris Chan fucked their own mother, but over the fact that Chris Chan be marked as male in jail, though they're trans. Look, I feel like I should clear this up before I finish it, okay? Look, in, in all reality, if you're trans, I don't care. I genuinely, I've got a few friends who are trans. Honestly, it does not affect me in any way, so I don't feel like I should care. I, I feel happy if my friends come out trans go, look, I'm gonna be happier as this person. But yeah, sure, that makes sense. I'm, I'm happy for you. The fact that Chris Chan has been put in jail and the people are mad about the fact that, you know, he hasn't been put in female jail is just fucking disgusting. Read this here. Chris Chan marked male in jail after arrest despite being trans woman. Like, they're not even bringing up the, the fucking rancid reason he's even in prison in the first place. Like, this is severely fucked. You know, I call you your pronouns of respect and what this thing's done is just fucking awful it's just so disgusting you can't even put it into words it is probably the most disgusting thing i've ever seen on the internet I feel sick to the fucking core i feel like i'm i'm gonna be traumatized now time someone comes up and they're like hello my name's chris i'm gonna be like oh fuck chris chan oh you just put that image in my head now what the fuck? Do you need to see something even more fucks? All right, let me go to his Instagram. Hey, look, I go to his Instagram, and the first picture I see is a picture of his mum, which is just, you know, haunting, to say the least. Bobby Chan got a styling haircut. I did that first time cutting anyone's hair. Looks really good. Mate, I'm pretty sure you did more than style her. You sure you fucking traumatized her? He even looks terrified in these pictures. And she even remembers it. I probably can't say that, can I? Oh, down. You can clearly see this guy is fucked up. Like, I've seen a lot of people go like, guys, look, he's just a special person. Like, yeah, the whole incest thing sort of gave it away that this guy has issues, okay? You don't need to remind me. But seriously, doing something this disgusting, that shouldn't be an excuse. In fact, nothing should be an excuse for shit like this. Here we go. Uh, here's, here's something. Here's like his, his, 
fucking drawing, like a fucking, what, a five-year-old would make. Got like a Sonic necklace on, the drip, of course. I think this is a cross between Pikachu and Sonic, but it's like a, it's like a really dirty necklace. Don't cross anything ever again. Bread shit was far enough. He's fully vaccinated. You know what, now I, now I hope that uh, the vaccines kill, kill everybody. Like, I, I wouldn't mind just like the entire population going down, just, just if we can take this motherfucker out. Wait, am I allowed to call him a motherfucker? I think so. I think I am. Of course, got a fucking My Little Pony toy. Brony, isn't it? Why am I not surprised? You could pretty much just arrest this person. You don't even need any evidence. You'd just be like, yeah, just look at him. <laughs> pretty sure this man thought, uh, you know, cartoons one day would all just come to fucking life. Like, you'd look out the window, you see, like, Pickle Rick fucking hopping around. Obviously, this is what Chris Chan thinks. Again, like, I'm not really surprised. More pictures of his mother? Fuck, I'm... I'm... Sh I, I'm scared. I feel sick just looking at this. What the fuck? It does just shake you to the fucking core having to look at all of this shit. The only good thing about this whole situation is the fact that she has dementia, so she'll probably forget about the trauma. Just realised that there's messages. Him, you know, confirming that he, uh, he, he, um fucked his mother, which I'm I'm not gonna look at. I've already taken 10 paracetamols with this shit, hoping for an overdose. Just can't take it anymore. Shit is killing me, which in all honesty is probably a good thing. Picture here of him, you know, drinking tea and uh, he's just got a fucking jug, which looks like it's got fucking piss in it. And it's got tea bags at the top. I mean, do you even know how to make fucking tea? I think this is racist. This is racism towards me. I, I don't even drink tea. I do not accept this. This is this disgusts me more than what he actually did. We can't be having this shit. There we have it. That's the absolute cretin to look at today. Chris Chan, everybody. The guy who got arrested for fucking his disabled mother. What a world we live in. <laughs> anyway, uh, I know this has been like the first video in like eight days or something, which honestly, it's getting kind of ridiculous now. You know, step it up, which I will. I will make more videos, okay? You know, I've said this. And I haven't met my promise. No, I think the fact that I've got zero subs during this month is, you know, enough to give me the boost to go, you know what, right, I'm going to fucking step it up now. So tomorrow, I'll make a video and I'll try and post it. If not, I'll post it on Monday. Get in the jam a little bit more. I can't, I, I didn't just say jam. I retract that statement. I did not just say jam. Anyway, thanks for coming along today, gamers. Appreciate everything, okay? Thank you for coming along, gamers. I salute you. Farewell.